ready for our first trip of the year and I've been waiting around for like six hours, decided to get some food. We are at Leo's Coney Island and I went with the gyro omelet and had French toast for a side instead of the hash browns. The gyro was hefty, good omelet, not too overcooked. I'm not a big fan of American cheese, so I wish there was a different type of cheese in here. The French toast was nothing special, and that surf was super thick and weird tasting. I'm not a fan at all. Now we are working, and I had a lot of chicken. I just ate this chicken, not much of the rice. Half of the other chicken dish with most of the vegetables. And then I had one bite of the tuna, most of the salad, some grapes. And then right before landing, I had a bite of our egg and cheese calzone snack. And then I had most of the omelet and most of the croissant and some fruit. Now, since the flight is over, we're done working. It's time to make our way to London, to the hotel and hang out and relax for a bit. Got to see some Qantas airplanes, the A380 and I believe a 787. I usually sleep on the van ride from the airport to the hotel, but this time I just was staring at the window. I've been obsessed with urban design and like walkability and cities for the past like few years, for a while actually, but more in depth now. So I was just looking at the fabric of the city and bike lanes and bus lanes and whatnot. But once I got to the hotel, I passed out for like four hours. All right, let's go outside, even though I'm tired. Let's do it. Let's talk about the sponsor for this video. We appreciate the like button. The like button is the sponsor of this video. Just take a second and like that video. It definitely helps me out a lot trying to grow this channel out more for sure. I appreciate all my loyal uh, followers. Some people are commenting on every single video. Shout out to William. Appreciate you watching all my videos. Love you, cousin. After taking a long nap and being on the phone, I'm gonna go out and do a little bit of something, something. I don't have too big plans for here in London, but we're gonna go out for a little bit, you know? We're just gonna ease on into the traveling now. I'm gonna walk, so I decided to take a 10 minute bus ride. I don't mind walking, I walked back, but decided to take the bus to a fish and chip spot. When I got there, it was a long line, and I realized that I went to the one that I didn't plan on going, and I didn't feel like waiting in line. So I went to a nearby food hall. I looked up food on the map and saw a jerk place. I'm like, okay, let's do some jerk or Caribbean food. So it was at this food hall actually that had a variety of places inside. And it was kind of like a fancy department store, it seemed like, and it was very busy. I went ahead and got some curry goat from this place called Sweet D's Jerk. It's a little stand, very small stall in the middle of the food hall kind of the style of vendor I would like to be if I expanded elsewhere. So I got this bowl and it's very, very hefty. The curry goat was off the bone, which was great because eating around goat bone is kind of annoying. The first bite was super spicy. I started coughing and whatnot. It looks like the meat without the sauce is a little bit sweet, not super sweet, but the sauce is where the spicy note came from. But there was a nice balance with the rice and peas, but a very spicy dish, I would say. The slaw didn't taste like mayo, so I was pleasantly surprised. I ate some of it just to get more of a feel of it. Very light, but I'm not a big slaw person. The salad was good, but there was no dressing. The plantains were great, of course, and this meal was a very solid meal. This bowl was really heavy. I got a rum punch and I couldn't really tell there was alcohol in there, which is kind of dangerous. And I was, I didn't drink it too fast, but it was definitely smooth, sweet, and delicious. So this place did really good. And I guess it's pure vibes, just like they say. too late so I'm gonna work out and try to be good for 2024 
Like if you've seen my videos previously, you know, I'm trying to do some speed training. So that's what I'm trying to continue now. Warming up, doing some drills and trying to get my body ready to do some sprinting sometime in the next couple months. So this was my first workout of 2024. I did want to get some fish and chips just to be in the London English food style. So I went to Mickey's that did have a nice rating. I ordered the medium fish and chips or whatever they call it. I think it's a special combo and it came out really fast and it was still really crispy and hot. It was like a perfect crunch around the meaty fish. I should have got curry sauce. I don't eat tartar sauce or whatnot, but they did have a curry sauce on the side, and that would have elevated this dish really well. The fries could have been cooked a tiny bit more or crispy a little bit more. But overall, this is a very solid fish and chips. It was probably better than the first original fish and chips I had over in England. The malt vinegar, salt and pepper, and lemon did elevate this dish. Gonna get some tea and a little bit of snack before heading over to our flight back to the U.S. Had a little bit of Asian veg, just the spinach and the lentils, not much rice. I did have the bread. And then we have a little bit of fish I was sharing with a crew member. Uh, we shared it together, some fish, salmon. And I didn't like this salad because it had blue cheese on it, but I had a little bit of the beef. I guess I wasn't that hungry, and then there was an extra pasta that I had one bite of, but it was going to go to waste anyways. I did try this dessert. I'm not sure what it was, but I don't like walnuts or nuts in my confectionery, so I kind of dug it out and ate this. Had these really great chips, and that is my first trip and everything I ate while I was gone going to London, y'all. All right, so that was my first trip of 2024. Uh, we bought three things of food. This is two and a half days of eating or two days of eating basically. We spent a grand total of $61.65 or that correlates to 2.1% of my take home pay, my monthly take home pay. So we did earn 121 points. That's uh, Hyatt points and Chase points. That's gonna be a value of two dollars and 41 cents so we can subtract that so we spent like 59 dollars or so but yeah that figure that i said so we spent 2.1 percent of my monthly take-home pay was that worth it in the sense of each meal um leo's coney island i love omelets i love euro omelets uh, that was very solid i just wanted to do more cheese or a different cheese so if it's a different cheese that have been fire the french toast was not that great but i would do this again and maybe see if they had a different cheese so that was worth it the curry goat was a great experience a lot going on there um not i don't really necessarily need to get the rum punch again that was the most expensive meal 31 dollars and 91 cents uh but that was a very hefty bowl a lot of flavors going on uh so that was definitely worth it i would do that again for sure maybe no slaw um, I mean, even though it was fine, it was cool better than any slaw I've had before. It's just I'm not a big slaw person. Uh, but that was some tender goat, and I really, really enjoyed that with the peas and rice. The fish and chips is a British fish and chips. I have an American palate. I could tell that it was fried very well. You can't ask for a better fry on the fish. The chips could have been more crispy, but that might be the English style. Curry sauce would have been amazing for that. Uh, spent $15.24 on that. Um, I usually aren't a huge fan of British fish and chips, but like I said, uh, they did a good job frying this, but, uh, maybe next time I go to England, I'll try another spot, but I definitely uh, recommend if you're around Mickey's to go check them out. So 2.1% of my take home pay on this two days, if I correlate that to a whole month, that'd have been 
31.5% of my take home pay on food. Is it worth it? Some of it was, some of it wasn't, maybe not. That is our trip in review, uh, full day eating. Expect more of these videos to come, little breakdowns like this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, y'all.